Well, he's been there before, but he hasn't done that. This lightweight contender worked exceedingly hard to get back to a championship setting. And this may be his last title shot if he doesn't get the win tonight. Yeah, you, you can't not get there twice. When you're there, you got to win one. Or you don't get the opportunity again. This guy put his head down and went right back to work from the moment he heard and still. He said that at some point, we would put the belt around his waist. He would put in the work. He would prepare. He's back here now, John. And he intends to be the champion. And when you suffer a setback, there are two ways to go. And this man went on the right trajectory. Really good to see him get back here. And now we find out if he's got the goods to be a champion. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right away. <laughs> Our tale of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's a busy post. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, the warrior. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, third Ready. party in the Octagon Ready. tonight. Good. Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Even for a Boston guy, I have levels of appreciation for the building around tonight. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chill because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Lee gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Rips the body there. Fight behind a nice jab. Beautiful shot lands. I like that. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Lands a nice leg kick. He gets to the single power time. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body. Again, making great use of his length in this matchup. 
How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I'd hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, nice. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice straight punch there. Right on the button. Jab that by the champ. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Nice leg kick. Let's go. Oh, leg kick. Stats in that department starting to pile up. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Over to land, but barely with that front kick. Unable to connect with the right hand. Great punch, that is useful. Just over two minutes now to go. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, that one landed, yep. He missed with that jab attempt there. Circling away towards the left now. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. On point with that jab today. Back and forth we go. All right, he engages in the single power side. One minute to go in round one. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. First round winding down here. Single collar tie now. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Can you imagine what some of those knees would do to a human being like me? Oh, man, let me tell you, I've been on the wrong end of some knees like that, and they are very damaging. They start to really wear at the gas tank, and you could see it in his opponent and the way that his opponent has now started to react to the idea of another one of those knees landing. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, round two. All right, next round is next. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock the guy, it's a bad mistake. I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. Oh, it landed. He hurt it. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 
Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Keep your hands up. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John. Oh, my goodness. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh. Nice job blocking that punch. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood start to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. And that one certainly found the target. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something, because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut, and now all the blood that's coming from the cut well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Just over two minutes here to go in round two. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, man, hit the plane. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Could be the beginning of the end here. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Wow, what a head kick. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He is a... Gets back to his feet. Oh, huge left. It's been a crazy fight. Oh. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. It's there, take down. Oh, nice jab to the head by Lee. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front. Straight punch. Useful. 15 seconds. There's his jab. In the can. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round, and how about the swelling at this point on the fighter's forehead? That is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. It is only getting worse given all the offense that's coming back. We'll see if they can get the end swell on there and try to keep this fighter in the fight. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's gonna do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive Ready, in terms fight. of his defenses. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage. Oh! oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Oh, this one could be over soon. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhook somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Lee's really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside position. He is continuing to target that area. Nice straight punch. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on. Oh! 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 Nice side there by the champ. Oh, the high kick lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, inside kick. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. like this doesn't stay with him throughout his mixed martial arts career, but I'd be okay with not seeing him take another head strike at this point. No, it's over. You could tell that the fight is done. It's on the ringside position or the corner to take a closer look and stop this fight. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night time. 50K, baby, somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive. That is so even. That is it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. We go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day. That was once again the case in this one. How about Bruce Lee?